Hello fellow YouTubers uh, and RC enthusiasts. This is an introduction to uh, a scratch built wing that I'm building um, out of foam um, that I'm calling the Carver wing. Uh, Carver's actually a, a Gaelic name from uh, which means gentle breeze in the Hebrides off the west coast of Scotland and I think it's a pretty cool name for a flying wing. Um, so as you can see it's a foam core construction, um, it's the first time I've done some foam cutting and uh, I think it actually came out pretty well. It's just a uh, styrene foam um, that I'm reinforcing with some fibre tape, uh, got a couple of bamboo skewers, there is a bit of a um, couple of inches of carbon fibre in there as well. and. Uh, just tape as you can see, uh, kind of 3M adhesive spray uh, on the foam and then the, the tape on there and uh, it's pretty light actually so um, I just uh, pretty much made up the profile or the airfoil myself um, sort of played around with a few different designs, had a look at what else worked uh, on Zagis and other things and um, yeah came up with a design and anyway this is the end result uh, I've got a couple of different variants that I'm making I'm also making one out of uh, PVA and paper instead of tape but uh, you'll see that in a later video catch you later well this is a hat can experiment so <laughs> Uh, who knows how much of this you'll be able to see, but anyway, we'll give it a try. I think it's pointing up too high. Anyway. So the um, maiden was actually very successful and I uh, was quite happy with that. Um, we then uh, took it down to uh, Altona, that was, this was last weekend and uh, as you can see it can take a bit of a beating, um, so a couple of uh, miss launches and uh, seemed to handle them pretty well. Um, this day was very blustery and uh, it's not the best of flying sites at this one, uh, it's different to where I was earlier. Um, and uh, it was a pretty blustery day and we don't get a great the sort of lift from this slope isn't terrific um, so as you can see it was getting tossed around a fair bit um, I also uh, later on found out that one of my um, horns on my uh, elevons was slipping so um, I wasn't actually getting all that good control in fact uh, once I I uh, landed and tried to take off again. I found I couldn't actually take off at all because the uh, uh, elevon, one of the elevons, wasn't working at all. Um, but uh, all up, I'm very happy with the way it's been uh, flying. I uh, it's on pretty low rates at the moment. Uh, 
I was just doing that to, to get used to the flying it. Um, and being so light, I think it'll actually handle some pretty light breezes as well. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm making another one out of PVA glue and, and paper, uh, which I'm going to actually power that one and make a powered version. And uh, I'm also thinking of making one uh, using clear tape and uh, putting some LEDs on it as a bit of a night flyer or something. But uh, we'll see eventually. I've got a lot of other projects that I'm uh, halfway through at the moment, so <laughs> who knows when they'll get done. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I have enjoyed building it. And I uh, hope to have many more flying uh, times of this one ahead. Alright, catch you later. I was watching it rather than filming it.